Mountain View resident Rick Cavallero recently built a wind-powered cart capable of doing something many familiar with the physics of sailing said was impossible. Cavallero's vehicle, Blackbird, can move directly downwind faster than the wind propelling it. It wasn't his ingenuity alone that made Blackbird possible. According to Cavallero and his partner John Porton, the geeky spirit of Silicon Valley, which views problem-solving as recreation rather than responsibility, played a major role. On March 1st, Cavallero and Porton met with the voice at their work, Sport Vision, in Mountain View, to explain how Blackbird came to be. As Cavallero tells it, it all began with a question he was asked by Atari creator Al Alcorn. He knew that a sailboat could go faster than the wind. That's well known. But could you could you make downwind progress to beat the wind? So in other words, could I could I tack my way downwind and beat a balloon that was free floating downwind? So I did some calculations and and said, yeah, it looks like you can. I thought that's interesting that that can be done. A lot of people would probably guess that you couldn't. So I thought, how about if you could make it go straight downwind, not tacking downwind, but if you could make a vehicle wind part vehicle that went straight downwind, that would, that would probably bend people's brain a little bit. Sport Vision, which football fans will recognize as the creator of the virtual line of scrimmage and first down markers seen on televised NFL games, was more than accommodating in helping Cavallaro and Borton. One of the most critical things, of course, is we have an employer who appreciates creativity and, and uh, gave us the flexibility to be able to use the facilities and, and work that way during our off hours. Uh, but, you know, it's also just working in a creative environment uh, in, the, in the Silicon Valley in this area makes it, you know, where it's fun to go out and do interesting projects that uh, a lot of areas of the country aren't as uh, willing to foster that sort of creativity. Yeah, they were very encouraging uh, and tolerant of it. Borton, or JB as he is called, told Cavallero that he would never convince anybody Blackbird was possible unless he actually built the thing. So, in earnest, the two set about hacking together the giant wind-powered cart, relying in large part on the tools and space made available to them by their employer. So, I was debating with people online for way too long about whether or not I was in fact an idiot, and JB was saying, you're an idiot, you got to build it. So they did, and it worked. In March 2010, Cavallero outran the wind in a dry lake bed in the Mojave Desert. The wind pushes the, the whole cart, propeller and everything, just pushes it from behind as a bluff body. And as it pushes it, the wheels turn, obviously, and the wheels through a chain and sprockets turn the propeller, and the propeller creates thrust that makes it go downwind faster. Up next for Cavallaro and Borton, traveling upwind faster than the wind bearing down upon the vehicle. We're going to replace the propeller with a turbine, which... To, you yeah. know, to somebody walking by, it would look this, like the same thing. You, if, you, if you see two pictures of the car, you're not going to know any different. Um, but the turbine will turn the wheels. The turbine will act like a windmill. The wind hits it, turns the, the turbine, and that turns the wheels, and that makes the car go directly into the wind. So right now, the wheels turn the prop. When we go upwind, the prop will turn, the turbine will turn the wheels. Cavallaro is sure that it will work. He has done the math, and the numbers don't lie. Soon, he and Borton will head out from the Sport Vision offices to a windblown tarmac, probably somewhere in the Central Valley, to put their modified car to the test. The duo's story is that of two very persistent, very bright individuals. However, in many ways, it is also a tale of community. Not only did Cavallaro and Borton's employer support their endeavor, allowing them to use company space and tools, Cavallaro also secured funding from Google and a Santa Cruz wind power company called Joby Energy. Both were instrumental in getting Blackbird up and running. People, people gravitate toward this area that have the, the skills and the interests um, and the culture here, you know, to, to be able to do things like use the facilities that you work from uh, as, as long as you're producing at work. To contacts, you know, just being able to pick up the phone and, and somebody that I, I've never met, you know, Larry or Sergey or anybody, but you know, I know a guy that knows a guy, and two days later you're talking on the phone with either the guy that's running Joby Energy or got the ear of Larry and Sergey. And there's also sort of a tolerance for doing crazy stuff out here. You know, I mean, there's just, we go down to Shoreline to test this cart, um, and we've seen all sorts of crazy things. So I, I think it's a, a, a culture, an atmosphere, and to some extent, even just the, the, uh, the climate. You know, I mean, probably indoors we could have gotten a lot done during the winter, but it sure was easier to do, you know, when all you ever need is a light jacket.